Okay, uh, good evening, Professor David Delosrius. Okay, my topic for this session will be a long video format. It's not enough for the short video, so I would like to place it in, in the long video format. Okay, let's proceed. <coughs> uh, we are given a problem. Uh, write an expression that represents the shaded area. Write an expression that represents the shaded area. Uh, we got a given figure here, a square. Okay. The side of the square is represented by the, the expression 8x minus 5. 8x minus 5. So it, it's a square. And the problem is asking, uh, write an expression that represents the shaded area, meaning the area of this portion here plus this area here. Okay, uh, I think uh, they should pull uh, under the SAT exam or CAT, CAT exam maybe, because... Uh, this is a topic on algebra plus is something like a, a topic on geometry. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the solution. For the solution, uh, I will give you a representation. Uh, area with the sub subscript is a is a represents the shaded area so area with the subscript is small s a is the area of the shaded area this portion here plus this okay uh, we need to bring out the good representation and the area of the triangle will be the area of this portion here without the shade right and the area of the square okay with the subscript is small square over here this is a subscript, right? Area of the square will be the area of the square. The area of the square is the total area. Okay? So, to bring out the expression of the equation for the shaded area, okay, uh, we'll try to go back to the figure. The area of the shaded portion will be the area of the square minus the area of the triangle okay so i place it here i will place it here area of the shaded area will be the area of the square minus the area of the triangle so we are given actually two geometric figures here a square and a triangle uh, and uh, luckily the triangle uh, got two equal sides this side here and this side are equal I think uh, I saw see this triangle okay if we try to compute for the area of the square it will be this side here times this side or in general it will be side square okay but the given side is actually in terms of an expression, algebraic expression, that is uh, an 8x, okay, minus 5, plus quantity square. One side is 8x minus 5, and one side is 8x minus 5, so the area will be 8x minus 5, quantity square. Okay, it is expressed as an expression also. Area of the triangle if we try to bring out the area of the triangle, it should be one half the product of the base times its height. The height of the triangle is actually the side of the square, right? If we try to drop a vertical line over here, that's a vertical line. So meaning uh, this vertical line is parallel with this. Okay. So this is also 8x minus 5. That's the height. And the total area of the triangle, if we try to consider the whole triangle, our total base will be from this point here up to this. So our total base is actually the quantity x minus 5. 
the total base is x minus 5 and the height is actually x minus 5. So if we try to compute for the area of the triangle, it should be 1 half the product of the base, total base times height. Okay? So it should be 1 half. The total base will be this uh, length here, which is x, x quantity x minus 5, 8 x minus 5, and the total height is actually the same as this side here, which is uh, the quantity 8x minus 5 also. Okay, so this should be 1 half. Same term, same term, so this should be same term quantity square. Okay, uh, it is also an expression. The first one is in terms of an expression. The area of the triangle is in terms of an expression. So if we try to use this formula here, the area of the shaded area, will be the area of the square minus the area of the triangle. So this should be 8x minus 5 quantity square, oh, it's this. And the area of the triangle is actually 1 half the quantity 8x minus 5 quantity square. So it's just a matter of algebraic manipulation. Okay, uh, this is with the denominator 2. So I will try to multiply 2 by this, so this will be now 2 times this uh, quantity 8x minus 5 quantity square minus 1 times this is just uh, the quantity 8x minus 5 quantity square all over the common denominator 2 now. Okay, we, we bring out 2 and we factor out 8x minus 5 quantity square, right? It is this. So what remains on the first one will be this just to here. And for the second one, we bring out this one, it will just be simply minus 1. And 2 minus 1 is just 1. So the area of the shaded, the area of the shaded area will just be simply 1 half of the quantity 8x minus 5 quantity squared. That will be our answer. That's the algebraic exp expression to compute for the shaded area, that is in terms of x. And this is term 2 as algebraic expression. Okay, uh, good evening from Los Angeles. This is Professor David J. Los Angeles.